Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's time for another Retro Toy Rewind. It's day three of the 2015 13 days of Halloween toy reviews. All things oozing. Different types of slime toys, and check it out. We've got another Star Wars Episode One toy. What? Yeah, with all of the crazy toys we got for Episode 1, not only did we get the slimy Jabba Glob, but we also got the oozing Star Wars Battle Bags. Maybe you had these, maybe you had no idea these existed. These are a really wild, gimmicky idea that Hasbro put out for Episode 1, where we basically got some minifigures of different Star Wars creatures in a bag kind of like the blind bag toys that we see now. However, this is more the type that has the effect of you put the bag in the water, the water opens up and dissolves, and then it's filled with goo and ooze and slime, and out come your minifigures. We've had some vintage toys that have done that. There have been several toys over the years have done it. So we're going to see how this Star Wars one worked out. You can see from the box here, I've got the Swamp Creatures assortment. There were a couple different assortments, uh, I believe. And if you flip it around to the back of the box, yep, there we go. There's the different ones you can get. Uh, there are two different types of Swamp Creatures and two different sites of sea, types of Sea Creatures. Um, so I'm not sure which one we're going to get. We'll either get this bunch or this bunch, it appears. So it'll be pretty cool. Uh, there are four different ones to collect here. You can see the kid up here opening it up. That's going to be me pretty soon. He's super happy to have this gooey bag filled with slime. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, so here's our instructions. This is how it works. Before beginning, cover the play area with an old newspaper or a towel. You know, you don't want to get all messy. I got a piece of plastic down over my uh, setup here. Then it just says, place the battle bag in a container of water. Let it soak and expand for five minutes. Be sure the bag is fully submerged. Then you're supposed to remove the bag from the container and use a cutting tool to open it. The cutting tool is inside the box. And then we've got our toys there. Also, we got to look at this. Relive the epic thrills of episode one with four highly detailed swamp creatures from the planet Naboo to recreate memorable moments from the film, yeah, you know, when they came out of slimy bags. That's totally what happened in that movie, right? <laughs> All right, well, we are going to open this up and we're going to put it in the water and we're going to see how it works. All right, I got my bowl of water ready to go. Uh, this is the bag before we put it in. Uh, honestly, you can just feel the figures in here. Um, I'm not sure. It's going to be interesting to see if this still works, you know, since this is from 99. It's very old at this point. Um, so I'll be curious to see if this still works because it honestly doesn't feel like there's anything in this bag except for the figures. Um, pretty interesting. And then this is our plastic cutting tool. Uh, you got to admire how they made it look very like... Uh, Naboo staff kind of looking, but yeah, just kind of like a little plastic scalpel basically. So here we go. We're going to fully submerge this in our dish of water and it's supposed to sit in here for five minutes. So get it in the bag. Yeah, let's soak it up. It's supposed to be fully submerged, but it's like floating. So here, maybe we got to get it just nice and wet. There we go. Soak it down in there. All right, so it's got to be fully submerged in the water for five minutes. So I'm going to let it sit here for five minutes, and then we will come back to it, and we'll see what's inside of our bag. All right, our five minutes have lapsed, and I'm really excited. If you see this, the bag completely swelled up. Look at that. It's totally fat and squishy and puffy now, so it definitely worked. It's definitely going to have some kind of goo inside. Um, I went ahead, I got myself a paper towel that I'm going to put this bag on since it's soaked in water. Um, just to kind of soak up some of that water. So, wow, look at how much less water is in my bowl now. So it totally all soaked into uh, whatever material is in here that turns into the goo. All right, so this is the fun part. This is where we get to play a little bit of doctor. We've got our bag here. Um, whoa. Whoa. The paper towel is already kind of turning green underneath it, so I think it's kind of leaking. All right, so here we go. Here's my scalpel. Let's see how easy it is to tear into this bag at this point. Oh, got to cut. There we go. Got to cut through. Get a nice and... Oh, my gosh, it's already gooing. Oh, this is great. Ready? Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, wow. This really crazy, slimy green texture. This is nuts. 
Wow. Okay. So now we got to start digging through here and looking for our minifigs. Oh, man. This is crazy. Okay. So check it out. Oh, here's this guy here. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to know the names of any of these, honestly, guys. <laughs> crazy episode one Naboo animals. That's what they all are. Oh, wow. This stuff feels so weird. Oh, look at that. So there's two. Where are the other guys at? Oh, there they are. They're down here in the corner of the bag. They are stuck together. Three. Oh, I recognize this one. This is the one that uh, Jar Jar was riding on. There we go. Oh, man. What do they call like a cladu or something like that? I can't remember. But Oh, look at that. Well, there they are all covered in slime. Uh, I'm going to wash these guys off so we can get a closer look at the figures. But, man, look at this stuff. This is some really, really crazy stuff here. It's just, it's hard to explain. It's like this, uh, it looks like a slushy, but it's like clumpy and it sticks together and it's real like oozy feeling between your fingers. Ah, oh, this stuff is nuts. Uh, it's all totally water-based. So as soon as this dried out, it would probably just turn into nothing. Uh, but this is crazy. Uh, you know what? It's a good thing I put that paper towel down too because it's totally like turning the towel green. Uh, so if you're going to do this on a tabletop or something, you definitely want to put down newspaper or paper towels or something. But, oh, look at that stuff. That is so, so rad. All right. Uh, so I'm going to clean these guys off. We'll get a closer look at them. All right, so there's our little creatures, our minifigures, after they've already been cleaned off. Uh, putting them in the water, that green gunky stuff literally just dissolves right off of them. It comes right right clean right away. Um, so it's very water-soluble stuff, which is good. It'll be really easy to wash out. Um, you might notice, though, that they're all stained green, um, and I couldn't get that off of them with the water. That might just be because these are old. I mean, they've been trapped in that bag with this dried up green stuff since 1999. Um, so they're probably just stained that way because of age. Um, so th that's just something, I guess, to note if you're going to pick one of these up. Um, the back of the box does tell us the names of these things. So uh, this one is the Falumapaset. <laughs> Uh, this one is the Kadu. I was right. That's the name of it. This one is Ikopi, and this one is Mott. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's your weird Naboo swamp creatures in our Star Wars battle bag. Um, this is fun. It really is. And honestly, with the blind bag craze being so hot still today, I'm surprised that a company hasn't jumped back to this specific gimmick. This is crazy, especially for anybody that loves gooey stuff and slime and stuff like that. Come on, little kids love that stuff. I would love to see some new blind bags done this way. But there you go, guys. There is a look at the Episode 1 Star Wars Battle Bags. Uh, just like all the other Episode 1 stuff, these are fairly cheap. You can find them still mint on cards. So if you want to open these up for yourself, just hunt around a little bit online. You'll likely come across some, and you can pick one up and try it for yourself. So hope you guys enjoyed today's slime, oozy, grossness video. Hey, be sure to stick around, because counting down to Halloween, I'm doing a different slime video every single day. Until next time, my friends. Yeah.